Hello my fellow humans and welcome back to another daily dice where we ask the dice for a message and find out what that is. Keeping in mind these are general readings so please take what resonates, leave what does not, knowing that as you interact with the channel by liking, commenting, and subscribing below it does allow me an opportunity to directly connect with your energy and get you out more resonant readings. Also, if you are interested in supporting the channel further, check out the description box down below where you will find all the links necessary to do so. You can email me for a personal reading. I'll get you out further information from there. And you can also follow me on over to my podcast, which is just a fun, chill hangout session with yours truly. And I really do hope to see you over there. Also, memberships are now live. There's three levels for you to choose from, so you will find that join button down below where you can find out all the details from there. So that being said, let's go ahead and get into our daily dice. We're going to see what it is in regards to your career and finances. So, Source, what messages do you have for my fellow humans in regards to career and finances? What would you like them to know? What messages do you have for my fellow humans in regards to career and finances? Okay, so we've got South Node, we've got Virgo Energy, and we've got... Why do we have two planet... Hold up here. we got two planet ones. But I guess that's with purpose. I'm going to put that over there. Alright, let's get... What do you have in regards to my fellow humans in regards to career and finances? See what comes out. The 8th house. Okay, so we've got 8th house, south node, Venus energy, and Virgo energy. <clears throat> Everything happens with purpose, right? So there's something that's mysteriously going on behind closed doors here. You've been patiently waiting. Whatever has happened on your career and finances has definitely humbled you along the way. It's definitely put you in a place where it's like you know that like you've had to learn some very specific lessons and be open to receiving that which you were asking for and so that you could become magnetic towards that especially with the venus coming out here you had to let go of what wasn't serving you you know anytime we talk about south node that's the path that we've traveled up until now the lessons the karmic lessons the baggage that we have to let go of so that we can emerge into our north node which north node is hard energy to get involved in because it's uncomfortable Right, North Node is a very uncomfortable place for us to be at. It's that place of like, I don't want to go there because it's stretching me beyond what I know. And so it feels like there's something that you've been working on here, getting involved in. You know, with the 8th house, we do have a cult energy. So it does feel like it is something that's not your average everyday kind of work. It could have to do with the mysteries in life. It could have to do with the mysteries in spiritual world. But... What they're showing here right now is that there's been a huge transformation here. You've let go of a lot of your uh, emotional ego here. And through that, you've allowed yourself to let in the newness of what's next for you. Right? We have the eighth house, which does talk about leaving legacies, facing fears. To face our south node is to face a deep-rooted fear within us definitely letting that go here okay you could also be making corporate money by creating your own business right it does have to do with corporate money maybe you're raising you're going higher in corporate you're getting a new position in corporate as well okay but virgo talks about being detail oriented very humble very modest very much this routine your day-to-day -day routine your your routine with your co-workers your routine and work your routine and your health your fitness and your hygiene and it's like something that you had to just show up for and just slowly let it take its place it's that's what routine does it's not something that is quick it's something that's very slow it's something that takes time it's something that allows you to build a solid foundation and through that that's helped you let go of maybe not feeling worthy of what it was that you were asking for maybe there was some sort of mentality that was keeping you blocked within regards to your finances and your career whatever it is it's like you're letting it go and now you're coming into this place with the venusian energy of being a true magnet for that which you desire you're about to experience a lot of new things new adventures, being able to take care of yourself in a way that you weren't able to before, like 
experiencing luxuries and the finer things in life, whatever those are for you, is they're different for everybody, you're going to experience that now. So let's get some career and life oracles on it here, Source, if you would, please. What more would you like to say in regards to this reading about career and finances? Interesting. Okay. What more would you like to say in regards to this career and finances? Thank you. Thank you. Okay, I feel like I want one more. One more source. That's the one. That's the one. I see it. I see it. That one right there. Okay. Okay, on the bottom of the deck, we have taking steps. Action is key to getting where you need to go. You can't wait around. Take a step in any direction to get unstuck and find opportunities. And that's what I feel like you've been doing. Just taking steps. Like, I don't really know where I'm going, but I'm going to do this anyways, right? The first one to flip out was relationships. Business partners, office love affairs, and communication with coworkers are highlighted now. Making Make choices with extreme care. And was talking about your routine with your coworkers. So they're just saying right now to just take care in what it is that you're doing. Because that's part of letting go of what's not serving you. Maybe there's some relationships here with you know, co-workers or business partners or office love affairs that are coming in that just aren't going to serve you moving forward. And it's okay to say no. It's okay to choose yourself. It's okay to stay in a place where you're just really focused right now. We have offerings. You will be offered a new position or investment opportunity. Think about it and research it carefully before accepting. This card just really is talking about making sure that what's being offered to you is really meant for you right? Not everything that is offered to us is meant for us. And sometimes that's hard, especially if you're coming from a place of fear. It's easy to make decisions based in fear and choosing the wrong direction for ourselves. So you're letting go of your fears. With the eighth house here and south node, you're facing those fears. And so something might come up where you're like, I'm not going to get a better offer. Like, I have to take this. Like, oh my gosh. Like, that's it. That's making a decision based in fear rather than an educated decision, which is where you take time to research what it is that they're offering you. Is this what you want? Is this the type of work that you want to put forward? And taking that time to realize, is this really how you want to move forward? Okay. We have renewal here. You need to take time to recharge your energy to get back on track. Challenges ahead require you to have faith and break through. Yeah, and that's exactly what the South Node energy is. You are breaking free from those old patterns that have been holding you back. And that's not easy to do. Right? It's like hitting the top of this box so you can stretch your energy beyond what you've always let it be at. Like you're in a closed box. You've been trapped in this box your whole life or even for the stent of the journey because maybe you broke out of other boxes. And so you're stuck in this box. And when you hit that top, it's uncomfortable to push through that so you can expand beyond that small minded energy or that lack minded energy. Right? And then we have fast changes. You'll be leaving a job suddenly or getting one very quickly. Or your work may change dramatically in a short time. Go with the flow. So things are going to happen. They're going to happen quick here. So just saying here to make sure that you prepare yourself by staying grounded is a very important thing here. But again, this idea you're about to experience things that maybe you haven't experienced before. Let's get a couple more oracles out of here, Source. What else would you like to say? Thank you. And they want an astrological card here. Yeah, this is definitely something that Source is playing a hand in here with ceremony and invocation on the bottom. Like, Source is absolutely playing their hand here. Okay. Okay, whoa, you're getting two of those. Okay, cool. North Node, destined to have. All right, so we're letting go of the what we don't need, what's not for us, and coming into our North Node energy. That's what this is talking about here. All right, let's see what we got here. Volcano. Ooh, this could cause... It's interesting that I said that this is an act of God, right? Or an act of source. With the ceremony card, it's like this is something that source is playing a hand in. But also Volcano talks about that very same thing. There's a lot of volatility here. There may be a lot of anger. Like something might happen that you don't want to happen. You don't want this to happen. You don't want it to go that way. It's going to feel like, it. oh my gosh, this is not for me. This is, this is hurting me. Like, why on earth would I want to do that? It's like, again, fast changes. It's like sources playing a hand in here to help realign you with what's meant for you. 
Okay, that's why this is coming. So there's something that's happening here that's going to, it's just going to change off really quickly. And it might feel like, oh my gosh, like, why are you doing this? But it's not meant to hurt you. It's meant to help you step up into your strength. We have house nine with spiritual growth, right? And that's what letting go of our south node is all about us growing spiritually. And spiritual growth is not a comfortable thing. It's really not. It makes you feel crazy. It makes you feel like, oh my gosh, like I wish I had never done this. And then once it's over with and you're happy you did it. But sometimes in the midst of it, you're like, oh, I can't with this. And we have cancer energy here with nurture, comfort, and protection. This is what Source is trying to do. They're trying to protect you. They're trying to nurture you, bring you into this place of, of what it is that you truly have asked for. Right? They don't want you to be in this place of being off balance or off kilter from your journey. They really want you to have what it is that you've asked for on your journey. And that's why there's going to be these new changes that are coming in. And that's the need for you to really take time and observe what it is that's really for you before making a decision for yourself moving forward. Because you really are letting go of energy that's no longer good for you so that you can come into what is absolutely meant for you on this journey now. Okay? So this is what I see for you. If you feel like this is your reading or this resonates with you, leave a little bunny emoji down below and say, I welcome in fast changes, knowing they're for my highest good. So you let Source know that you're ready to take on this challenge. Leave me a thumbs up down below, but I'm going to go ahead and leave it there and get on out of here. I do want to take a quick second, though, to thank your guides, your spirit messengers, your angel source, and my guides for coming together to give us this message. And until next time, stay human. Bye.